This week on Rugged Expeditions, we're chasing my most favorite animal to hunt in the whole world, the Cape Buffalo. Our expectations coming to hunt in the mountains was that we were gonna shoot old, mature dugaboys. He's not a bad bull, that one that you just saw running across the valley. Oh yeah, here he comes. We've got three of them over here on this hillside close. This one looks like a shooter. He's come all the way across the valley to us. This is, this is not good. It's always great to be back in Africa, and there's no place better than Tanzania. This is the place I dream of coming back to, and I love it. I love every piece of it. I love the landscape, the beautiful acacia trees. This part of Tanzania itself up in the Sideland is probably the most beautiful and has for sure the most amount of game, so really looking forward to getting out here. After all the travel, the gun case being handled several times in the airplanes, you always want to check the rifles, so we took it out to the range. It was shooting good, a little bit to the left, so we made a couple cranks on it, got it moved over to where it's supposed to be, so we'll see what happens. Okay, no excuses. So we're right on the money there at about 125 yards. So now, it's all me. Yeah, not the rifle. <laughs> yeah, but I'll blame someone. If I miss, somebody gets... <laughs> hey, hold still! I've hunted with Ellen now for over 20 years. And during that time, he became more than a client. He's a good friend of mine. I know his kids. This is a present for Nicole. I know his parents. We've had a lot of fun together. I was scared to death for when I pulled both triggers at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm video. Coming back to Africa is not the same unless I'm coming back to hunt with Skulk Tate. And we're back in the best part of the Skulk. <laughs> I've hunted with this guy for well over 20 years, killed I don't know how many Cape Buffalo with him, elephants, lions, all the dangerous animals all the planes game. It's been a great experience, the two of us getting to hunt together. It's a big one, let's go. So when we get back here and get to catch up on what the latest is and talk about family and everything else, it's a great, great day. One promising aspect of Tanzania is the terrain diversity, a proposition few hunters can pass up. From the dry lowland flats of the Serengeti to the lush 9,000 foot high elevations of Mount Golai, Tanzania offers a medley of territories and distinct game species to hunt, one of which is the deadly Cape Buffalo. I've had the opportunity to hunt a lot of Cape Buffalo through my hunting career, and every one of them is unique. It seems that the herd situation, maybe you're hunting dugaboys, maybe you're hunting one or two that are just hanging out by themselves away from the big herds, but never in my career have I ever hunted them in such a unique place as hunting on Mount Goli. I am doing that, you know, I'm 
bad bull, that one that you just saw run across the valley. Ah, yeah, here he comes. Buffalo hunting in the mountains is different because of a few reasons. First is the altitude you have to cope with, because here we're hunting at over 9,000 feet. Also, inside these valleys you have swirling winds, and then there's even the thickness of the bush. So it's all these factors that make it challenging hunting in these mountains. That worked out good running him out of the valley, huh? That first one that ran out was a nice one. We're back on the dark continent, not just anywhere in Africa, but in beautiful Tanzania. It's been a long trip getting here from the west coast of the United States. About 27 hours of flying, if I remember right. It's calling it a big daze right now. Get ourselves a little shopping in the local market. It's actually kind of nice, the black and white. That was a lot of fun. Got to see all kinds of sights. It smells like bait. It looks like bait. Made the long journey out here through the bush, but we finally made it and we're into camp. We've met up with our great PH, Skulk Tate. And then you. How's it? Good, man. So we're looking forward to uh, another fantastic safari here in beautiful Tanzania. Found on the east coast, it borders north of Kenya and Uganda. Tanzania is a land of spectacular beauty and one of the largest countries in Africa. The territory is divided into 26 regions with contrasting topography and is roughly twice the size of California. The biggest difference between hunting in the mountains in Africa and hunting down on the dusty plains is your shooting distance. Down there with the Grants Gazelle, the Thompson, the Zebra, it's all long range stuff. You're shooting 150 to 350 yards. Up in the mountains, it's exactly the opposite. Because of the denseness and the thickness of the bush, you're really doing all close up work. So, completely different situation. Tanzania has the largest concentration of wildlife with more than 4 million animals and 430 different species. The Cape Buffalo is one of the most prized animals to hunt. Known in Africa as one of the Big Five, the Cape Buffalo, also known as Black Death, are unpredictable in nature. This deadly beast has been known to kill on average of 200 people per year. Although hippos and crocodiles rank high among human fatalities, some claim that more people are actually killed by buffalo. Skulk, what are you thinking? Down the ridge and look for buffalo? Yes. So we got the heavy artillery with us today? We're going to uncharted territories. So you're packing a 500. 500 Jefferies. I got a 577. We got a 375. We're not going under gun. I've got a 577 Nitro Express here that we're going to take along. This gun shoots a 650 grain bullet. It packs 5,500 foot-pounds of energy. To put the 577 in perspective of what a cannon these things are, I've started out here with a 375 H&H with a 270 grain bullet in it. A great round that I've used all over the world. I've used it on elk, I've used it on bears. But when you compare that to the 577 Nitro Express, now you can see what kind of a cannon we've got here. It's been said about the 577 that the 577 kills on one end and maims on the other. What's different about hunting in the mountains than down in the flats, I would guess it compared to sheep hunting. You do a lot of climbing to the highest vantage point and you glass a lot until you can spot the animal. It's not like your normal, typical tracking buffalo, like in the Sulu or other places. So it makes for a nice change. I see him. Yep. Do you and I. There's another one. Yeah, yeah. Do you and I want to just sneak up here and sit in these bushes? Leave the rest of them back here. I mean, I can't shoot from here with the 577. I mean, I can, but. 
So here we've got him coming across the opposing hillside. A bit of a poke for a 577 Nitro, I have to say. Usually I like to get a little closer than that. Certainly a doable shot. All we've seen is cows and calves, other than those first couple of bulls. A couple of young bulls, but nothing shootable. You think with all of these buffalo, hold still, there's a buffalo right there, and I'm not making this up. Okay. If a big one comes out, we're gonna let him get to the edge of the brush. This week on What's in Your Pack, we explore the sticky wonderment aptly named Electrician's Tape. I would no sooner leave home without this and I would leave without giving my girlfriend a quick trip around the world, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Whether it's covering the end of your gun barrel to keep the rain and snow off, or taping broken wires back together on a broken down Jeep, or fashioning a makeshift bandage, this mini-me black brother of the duct tape family comes in handy all around camp. Hole in your tent? sole coming off your shoe? No problem. Reach for the roll of instant repair kit and apply with gusto. And you'll thrill your friends when you whip it out and save the day. This is Jay Allen Smith reminding you, don't leave home with a roll of electrician's tape and don't miss a single episode of Rugged Expeditions. Tanzania is home to a robust ecosystem of wildlife. From the free-roaming plains game to those in the thick, uncharted territories of the mountains, these animals thrive off the lush land in excessive numbers and provide excellent hunting opportunities for the hunter seeking adventure or danger. Hunting in the Golai Mountains with his good friend and hunting guide Skulk Tate, Alan Smith has spotted a herd of Cape Buffalo through the brush and is patiently waiting for a mature bull to step into range. It looks like we were maybe 20 minutes late or so. All these have crossed through now and we saw a couple bulls that had already crossed over before we got here. We looked at those other bulls this morning on the way up and messed with them a little bit, which would probably hurt us, but you can't pass up animals when you see them on their way up just to make sure and take a look. So I think a plan is tomorrow morning to be right back in the same spot. And hopefully they're coming back. One very imposing species is the Cape Buffalo, known in Africa as a member of the Big Five, which includes the elephant, lion, leopard, and rhino. The Cape Buffalo is considered the most deadly of the bunch. Cape buffalo are most aggressive when they feel their calves are threatened, or if wounded, these animals are reputed to stalk and attack the hunter. It's this very reason that makes the Cape buffalo such an adrenaline rush for the hunter, and along with the challenge of hunting them in the mountain, the added pressure of sneaking in on this lethal adversary only increases the excitement. Hey, stay tuned to Rugged Expeditions. We'll be right back after a word from our brand new sponsor, Boagra. Yeah. Bow hunters, are you having trouble with your arrow, just not performing like it used to? Maybe it's time you talk to your sporting consultant about using brand new Boagra. Gone are the days of hiding your little arrow in its quiver when you're hanging out in camp with your buddies. No more embarrassing excuses for poor arrow performance. Not if you're using Boagra. Rubbing Boagra on the shaft of your arrow at least one hour before your hunt will bring back the confidence and satisfaction just like it did in the good old oh, days. yeah! Before taking Boagra, check with your sporting consultant to make sure Boagra is right for you. If you're over 65, you may experience a sudden loss of vision, lightheadedness, or the shakes. And remember, taking more than the recommended dosage of Boagra can cause severe spiritus. When the time is right, don't let your arrow let you down. Use Boagra. Alan Smith has traveled to Tanzania in search of the deadly Cape Buffalo. 
he's hunting with his longtime friend and guide, Skulk Tate. We got into a good position on the mountainside where we were looking across to the other, and we could see three bulls laying in there, one of which looked pretty dang good. Actually, two of them were pretty good, but one was a little better than the other. They finally started to move around on the hillside, and we saw this big one. head looking up at us? Yes, he's looking at us. We just need him to move out. I can't shoot him there. No, no, no. Just wait. He's going to move to the left now, I think. What's this here? It's a young one. Watch me. Let's get out of here. Back up. Let's go. We were able to sneak in within about 80 yards of the buffalo. Watch, watch. When all of a sudden, the youngest one of the three he gets up out of his bed. This bugger is serious. And this is one of those buffalo that's got attitude. Watch that one, Baraka. OK, if he comes clearer there. So now we got to make our decision. Do we keep watching for the other one? Do we shoot this one that's starting to come out? OK, he's coming out from the lift. Yeah. When I saw his horns, that made the decision easy for us. I've seen a buffalo yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I don't think I don't think he likes the 577. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. I tell you what, though, we've had him get up before. No, he's. Is he down? He's not. I lost. Up. When this thing kicks up, I lose all sight. What did the What did the young one do? He's still here. He didn't run. No. Even the other one is still standing. Everybody's jacked up. We're excited. Now the problem is we can't get to him. We've still got Junior over here. The shot does nothing to scare him away. Matter of fact, he still keeps coming up the hill towards us. We've got one down in this thick stuff. We've got another one on the hill in our way. And we've got a young one right down here who's got us all screwed up. He's come all the way across the valley to us. This is. This is not good. One of the other problems we ran into with hunting buffalo in the mountains was trying to get in close enough to where we could get a good shot at one in a position where we knew that if he didn't just drop, the follow-up would be something that we could do. You can't follow him up in the really thick, thick, ugly stuff. At least you don't plan on doing that. How about that shit? Me. You are. You good. Once I was able to collect myself, all the guys were patting me on the back. We knew it was a good bull. But after all that, it turns out that it's a great bull. What a bull. Up here on Mount Galai, this isn't what you come up here for. You're expecting to shoot these mountain buffalo, which are old and worn out to where they don't get this big hook like this. And living up here with his two buddies, they call them Ascaris. So they've been watching out for this old boy this whole time. That's why I think that one came towards us today. I think he's just you know keeping track of the old guy. But man, what a bull. It 
It's really hard to describe the feeling when something like a Cape Buffalo is coming at you full tilt and his intent is to kill you, to kill the person that put him in this pain to start with. The only way I can really describe it is, it's as if everything went into slow motion. It's an experience that you'll never have ever again. And I was, uh, I was pretty emotional after it had happened, I have to say. Next week on Rugged Expeditions, J. Allen Smith travels the jagged mountains of Pakistan for the twisted Kashmir Markhor. As a rule of thumb, most countries that end in the word stand are not exactly glamour places to go on vacation. So when I told the gang that I was heading to Pakistan to go hunting, that's when I was afraid that they were gonna put me in the funny farm once and for all.